Hey guys, welcome back to the podcast. We're on episode 46 and I have Tony as a special guest. Tony is a part of a decoy uh, sting operation to catch child predators. Um, you want to say hi to the fans, Tony? What's going on, people? How you guys doing? So what, what Tony does is pretty damn commendable, if you ask me. I think he's a hero in his group. Uh, he's a plumber by day. He gets out of work out of a long day and hunts these freaking sickles down. Um, Tony, you want to explain what it is like you guys doing your own words? Uh, yeah, well, well, um, what we do is I have, I have decoys. I have about five decoys that work behind the scenes and, um, they post ads on, on several different sort of platforms. Um, you know, tag, uh, what's the other ones? POF. Um, even children, even children games that have, um, uh, you know, chat rooms. And what we do is like, let's say we're using POF or tag. We'll, we'll post an ad stating that, you know, we're 21 or 22, uh, just, you know, just, just home or bored. And, and as soon as, the, as soon as we get a response, as soon as the guy says, Hey, or what's up? Our next response to him is, you know, listen, you know, we're really not 21 or 22. We're really 13, 14 or 15. Mm-hmm. Is that okay with you? And then um, we wait for their response back. You know, sometimes you'll get, which is very rare, you'll get somebody say, you know, you know, listen, you're too young, or, or hit me back when you're 18. But the uh, the response that we're getting now is is, oh, don't worry about it. You know, uh, as long as you don't tell anybody, and it's your mom and your dad home, and what time do they work? And so that's that's pretty much that's pretty much how we set we set these things up. Damn man, that's freaking sick. You know, and it's funny because. You know, I've I follow the page and I've seen some comments. I, I've seen some like stupid comments where like people say like, Oh, well that's entrapment. I'm like, no, hold on a second. Like these are grown adults. <laughs> like like when you say you're underage, that should be it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well entrap in order to entrap somebody, you need to be law enforcement. I'm not I'm not law enforcement or mm-hmm. or, or a federal agent. Um and well, I mean, the concern that people should have is is who's initiating the conversation. Mm-hmm. Now, if I jumped online and I started, you know, just started randomly messaging men and saying, hey, how are you doing? I'm 14. You want to have sex? Then that's a problem. But mm-hmm. that's not what we're doing. Right, right. Um, so, Tony, what what inspired you to get into this in the first place? Um, it's 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 pretty big in the it's pretty big in the U.K., um, there's a lot of, there's actually a lot of teams in the UK. I mean, it's, I think there's something around 80 teams in the, in the UK to do this. The difference between the UK and the States is they're able to get arrests. Mm. So I watched it and I watched it and, and, um, so I tried it myself one day. I said, let me, let me go online and, and, and try what they do. And I, and I did it and I posted an ad and, and, and I started getting responses back and I was like, well, this is the same problem there is over there than there's over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, that's just matches. And uh, that's that's pretty much how I how I got started. Besides uh, besides also being a survivor, I take it very I take it very personal. Mm-hmm. You have grown men or grown women. Don't 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 get it twisted. There are women out there that do these things too. Mm-hmm. We've initiated conversations with them. We've had conversations with them. We just haven't had had them meet up with us. Mm-hmm. But there are grown women out there that do look for children. That are that are young boys and young girls. So that's crazy because that's like a misconception too. A lot of people think it's only men. So I'm glad you you brought that up. Yeah, that's a that's a total that's a total misconception. There are it's a sick. I, I mean, I don't want to say it's a sickness. I know I'll get a lot of backlash from saying that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it is it is it's it's an epidemic. It's a problem. Yeah, I was gonna actually get into that. Um, that was a question for you, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So, um, but Tony, in your estimation, uh, how big of a problem is this? Like, how many messages do you get? Like, is this like a huge epidemic? Yeah, I mean, this is something that uh, if if it was a, if it was a disease, the CDC would quarantine New York City. Shit. And I, I don't think, I don't think people realize, and this is why I always tell people, you know, that they either watch or <laughs> heard about it. Don't take my word for it. 
you know, just go download any dating app you have and and, and see what response you get. Mm-hmm. And, and it's going to it's going to open a whole new world for you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, sometimes I wish I didn't open that 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 box. Mm-hmm. But I did. So. Yeah, because I'm sure it makes you look at humanity a little different because you realize how how sick it is out there. You know what I mean? I was having a convo with my girlfriend earlier. And we were talking about what's the the right age for your kid to have a social media page. So we were having like a back and forth about that. And uh, that's something that parents got to watch out because when you're on social media, you open to like these predators. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it, what it boils down to is, I mean, I, I forgot, how, how old are you again? Me, I'm 37. But we're, we, you know, we're in the same age bracket. We didn't have, you know, we didn't have this when we were growing up. You know, our social no. media was actually being social. You know, we went out and we, we, we met up with friends and um, your parents, you know, God forbid I stayed in my house longer than 10 minutes, I was thrown out. You know, mm-hmm. get out, go outside, do something. Right. And, I stay, and now it's, now the now the narrative is, you know, pacify your child or your or, or, or your teenager with the with electronics, you know, internet or video games. And if you're going to do that, that's your business. But you have to monitor. You know, it doesn't take, you know, just think, it freaks me out. Think about this. To, to, to think that you're sitting in your living room, you, your, you know, your wife or your husband or whoever, and your child is sitting in, a, in, the, in the recliner relaxing. Just picture the scenario. You see everybody sitting around Saturday night hanging out and everything is good. Life is, life is good. And, and. Because you didn't you didn't go look at what your child is doing. Your child is actually talking to a grown man online. That's that's either playing a child, or is or is straight out coming out and coming to this to your kid, saying, you know, I am 30 years old, and and let's keep this a secret. Mm-hmm. And because you're not teaching your child that this isn't right or it's wrong, they don't know they don't know right from wrong. Right. You know, they just they think it's it's the internet. It's just I'm texting. I'm conversating. So. That's 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 the scary part about mm-hmm. this stuff, man. It, it really it really does bother me. But mm-hmm. so so you think that's a safety measure right there, like a barrier, like if the if the parents are more involved in the kids' lives and teach them better. Yeah, I mean that's 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 pretty much is that's my you know the idea of what I'm doing is 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 to expose these sickos, of course, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be the pharmaceutical company and just give you the medication. I want I want to give you the remedy and the and the and the cure to the illness. Mm-hmm. And and the cure for this illness is to monitor your children. Don't mm-hmm. allow them to be online doing these things. Set a limit. Set a time. You know you can't be on this time or you can't be on this app. Well, this game has you know uh, over 18 chat chat rooms. You can't be on that game. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's even even that is is it's still you they, you still have a chance for them to get to your child, but it's just about precaution and, and, and raising awareness to to the parents and and hopefully one day I, we'll never stop it. Mm-hmm. That I know it'll never stop, mm-hmm. and it's unfortunate, you know. But if if we can save if we can save one or two and child the family, man, I think I think I think we did I think we did a good thing at the end of the day. I agree with that. It's worth it. Um, yeah, and it's funny you were bringing up like you know video games and social media and stuff like and and you know if we're in the same age bracket, you know I'm from New York too, so this is how I grew up. I would be outside yeah. basically all day playing basketball, like you know yeah. active doing stuff, and and interaction was way different back in the day. Not everybody stuck in their phone, and you know I see it like parents just toss their kid a, a iPad and it, yeah. it keeps them occupied and quiet, and they just do their thing. Yeah, I mean, you, you, I see it every day, you know, a, 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 a woman or a man with a stroller and the kid's maybe two or three years old, he's got an iPad in his hand. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, the, and the response is, oh, but, you know, it's fine. It's teaching them uh, skills and how to work. No. And that's what it is. Right. Yeah, that is a problem. This is probably like a dumb question. It's obvious. But when you approach these people, you don't know what they have on them or how they're going to react. So obviously, it's a dangerous situation. Are you ever nervous? I mean, you obviously probably have some feeling about it. And have you ever been in a dangerous situation? I mean, it's, it's always a dangerous situation. But my 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 the way I think is, is um, you know, these guys are cowards as it is. You know, any any man or any woman. Um, at these ages that are that are online, 
looking to meet up with, you know, 12, 13, 14, and 15 year old children are cowards. And if any, if anything, they should fear me. I shouldn't fear them. Right. You know, do I think, you know, that one day could somebody, you know, most of these guys, man, if you watch the videos, most of them, they just cower down. Right. I mean, it's got to be the most embarrassing thing. It's, it's the most, it's one of the most frowned upon crimes in the modern world is, is, is uh, child molestation and, and being a pedophile. Mm -hmm. So when, now when you're confronted as one of these things, I can only imagine how everything that, you know, I had a guy the other day was a, was a karate instructor, self-defense instructor. You know, this guy probably could have gave me a run for my money. You know, I got, a, I got a boxing background. We all seen, you know, Floyd Mayweather and, and uh, McGregor, what happens with boxing and MMA. That's a whole nother story, but, um, he could have he could have put up a fight if he wanted to, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, watching him, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, let him train me if if he paid me because the guy ran, mm -hmm. he ran like a coward, and that's what he is. He's a coward, right? And you know what's disturbing about that? If he's a karate instructor, he's obviously around kids, you know. Well, yeah, he works. Uh, we're actually in the process now. Uh, we got all the info. We made, we made our, our, our proper phone calls. He actually writes children books, and he teaches karate in the New York City public school system. Damn, that is crazy. So, yeah, so you know, and people, and you still get these people. Oh, you, you know, this is all for views. You damn right, it's all for views. It is because now that video, you know, I got one video on there. Within the next, within like twenty four hours, it had almost a half a million views. That's a half a million people that's going to reach out to. Right. That means a mother, a mother, a father, a grandmother, a grandfather, an uncle. Somebody's going to know this guy. Mm -hmm. And not even that. What if he has victims? You know, right. so now people know who he is. And, and he could be exposed because, you know, you know, going to jail, listen, and I'll be honest with you. I don't believe, I believe they should go to jail. But I don't believe that's, that's, that's the final step. I believe exposing them to the world is the best. Because listen, this guy goes to jail, right? I give I give the detective a, 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 I give him his information. He goes arrest the guy. Yeah, he goes to jail. He goes to court. He might not have a record. He gets out on probation. He's back in the streets. Do we know who this guy is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I guess your... he's still. You know what I mean? We don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. At least now, he's exposed. We know who he is. Then he can go to jail. We can register him as a sex offender. Mm -hmm. And then when he's walking the streets, the world will know who you are. No, that makes perfect sense. Exposure, you know, yeah, outing them. <clears throat> yep. Um. So, you know, this guy was a karate instructor. And that brings me into my next question. Like, what walks of life are we talking about here? Like, like karate instructors, teachers, like, what are we talking about? We're talking, we're talking everything from milk. We're talking everything from pizza delivery guys to NYPD. Damn. I mean, we're talking, we're talking all walks of lives. You know, when it, when it comes down to these, these sickos, what they do for a living is just a cover up. Mm -hmm. It's a facade. It's smoke and mirrors. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a costume they put on, you know, and it, and it, it's sick. It's, it's, when I think about it, it's sickening, man, to know that, especially an NYPD officer. Um, and, and we never met up with him. Unfortunately, he, uh, did send a lot of nude photos and, and make a lot of nasty comments to a 13 year old. Or thought he was talking to a 13 year old. Um, you know, just to think that this guy is out here serving and protecting, and when he gets off, he goes home and does these things. Damn, that's that's crazy. Um, shit. So I, I don't even know. I almost don't even know how to like respond to that. Um, it's just it's insanity to me. Um, so as far as like the NYPD, since we're on that now. We kind of talked about this off air, but you got some big news, right? Like, you, yeah. how's the support yeah. with the NYPD? Now or before? Uh, well, you can talk about both. Well, yeah, before it was, uh, before it was, I got a lot of the runaround and, and, um, mostly, mostly what I got, a lot of the feedback I got from the NYPD was, and, and listen, I, I understand it, but I don't get it. You know, it's like, it's like me, a plumber, like, you know, I don't want, I don't want some, uh, you know, you don't need to call another plumber to do my job. That's why I'm here, you know, but if I don't have the time to fix the boiler and somebody wants to help me out, I'm more than willing to take the help. Right. And it, it was almost like they were given, they were, they were on some, um, 
pride kind of thing. Like, wait a minute, I'm the cop. You're the civilian. Let me do my job. And I had to come, you know, I, I had to finally come out and say, listen, we'll do your job mm-hmm. because I'm doing your job for you. Doing the job better. Yeah, I'm doing the job. Yeah. You know, um, we've gotten comments. We've gotten comments to as far as, well, you know, why don't you set it all up? And then as soon as the guy's ready to meet you, you give us the login information and we'll go pick them up, which is fine. But then I say to myself, wait a minute. There's, there's so much things that go on, the, the time, the, the, you know, the hours behind this and everything to set this up. And, 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 I, and I wanted to be like, well, if that's the case, then put me on the New York City PD payroll. Right. Because right. you're, you know, you're telling me to do the job of a detective and then you come in and get the bust. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, you know what, that it's not, it's not the point of, you know, people like, oh yeah, but you'll get, you know, you'll get the arrest, mm-hmm. but it's, there's a lot of work behind this man. And, and right. it, 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 the feeling, and I'll be honest, I'll probably get a lot of backlash. To it. Mm-hmm. The feeling of setting these things up and going through the time and the, and the stress and then finally, and then finally meeting this scumbag mm-hmm. that's two feet in front of you. Mm-hmm. There's no better feeling in the world. Mm-hmm. No better feeling in the world, man, knowing that. Yeah, I don't see any controversy with that at all. Like, I could understand that 100%. So, I don't know how people I don't know how people could view anything wrong with that view. I mean, that's just it's common sense. I mean, you're you're exposing a piece of garbage. Yeah. Um, so after, you know, after multiple multiple calls and and um reaching out to here and and shout out to the fans too, man, because you know, we have a lot of people that watch um F, you know, NYPD detectives and uh, people that work in law enforcement or that work in the, in the criminal justice system. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were able to, you know, finally finally get a hold of who we needed to get a hold of. And um, we finally got the backing of NYPD. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, and it's not, it's not going to be a half. It's not going to be a, well, you do the work. It's going to be, all right, get the bust, get the video, expose them, send it to us, and we'll go make the arrest. Damn, that's that's awesome. So, yeah. Tony, for I see comments, I see dumb comments uh, as far as you know. They go like this: Why doesn't he just grab them? <laughs> Why doesn't he arrest them? It's like, can you explain to people like what you can and can't do? Because isn't that like assault? You can't just grab people. Yeah, I, I, listen. You you have you have citizens arrest in in the states. Um, unfortunately, this is a victimless crime, which means there is no, there is no, there is nobody that's that's potentially going to be harmed. This is the this is the controversy that you know, and I understand it. This is the this is the gray area in this is that people say, well, but there was no 13 year old child. There was a 36 year old man or or a 30 year old woman. But what if there was a child? Mm-hmm. The point here is we're trying to show the intent of the other guy on the side of the phone or woman. Right. That, they're thinking they're talking to a child, mm-hmm. you know, but I can't, I can't now, now, if I see somebody murdering somebody, yes, I can, you know, it's not recommended, you know, yes, you can go and grab this guy and hold him until the cops come. Mm-hmm. But me putting my hands on them and grabbing them and holding them only leaves me and the way the system is only leaves me open to go to jail. Right. I, I don't, so, I don't know how people don't understand that, but it's, I'm glad you explained it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I understand why they asked the question because I, I thought in the beginning too, when I've seen them, you know, I've seen some other uh, guys in, 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 in another state. Um, I haven't seen them anymore. They've done like one or two. And I say, man, call the cops. You're like, call the cops. But you, cops are there for emergency calls. Yeah. You know, you know, for, for something like this, you're, and we were directed, you have to call the 911 non-emergency number. They have to dispatch somebody out. So now you're talking about me sitting in the middle of Brooklyn somewhere, tussling with a guy for God God knows how long mm-hmm. until you guys get there. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I, trust me, I, I would love to do it. I'd love to do it. I would, you know, I would love to, but I also got a family that I got to get home to as well. Right. Right. And you know, you know what the whole thing of dump, like a victimless crime. I mean, hold on a second. We're talking about a potential 13, 14 year old, uh, you know, an adult speaking some lewd bullshit to them. I mean, that that's that's not a crime. I mean, that don't sound right to me. It is a crime. 
it is a crime, but it's not a crime where they're going to send out an NYPD squad car with two guys or four guys in it when, especially in the neighborhood that I'm in, when there's gangs and gun shootings going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so here goes the next, uh, another question, Tony. And um, this, this one's probably like a little controversial. Um, I, I know I have my views. You probably got your views. But in your own personal opinion, do you think this is a mental health issue or are these just flat out evil, bad people? I, it's, t- it's tough. I don't, and I'm going to say I can't answer that question. Mm-hmm. You know, because I would, I would like to say it's a mental problem because it starts in the head. Mm-hmm. You know, um, am I going to say it's hereditary that it, that it's passed down or, I mean, let's 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 fucking keep it honest now. Let me let me fucking let me open up here a little bit. All right, um, go ahead. Um, pedophilia has been around for centuries. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're going back to the Roman and Greek times, right? Is that something? Is it something that's stalled in our DNA? Is it something that everyone craves, but people that know right from wrong don't do it? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean. I can't, I can't say or remember a time where I've, I thought about talking to a child or, 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 or meeting up with a child, right. but I can't, I don't know what's going on through all these other people's heads. And, and, and I know, I know there's a narrative that they say a lot of these people that, that do this were, were, were also victims themselves as children. Right. Right. And it's understandable, but I'm a victim. I'm a survivor myself mm-hmm. from a family member. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not going around trying to touch kids right right maybe i'm strong you know maybe i'm stronger maybe i don't it didn't affect me as bad mm-hmm. so i really that is a, that is a rough one that's a, that is a hell of a question and i think i think i'd have to be like a doctor right to, to answer that one yeah i mean it's tough man and i and i know what you're saying with the whole uh throughout history and possibly in our genes like some kind of weird thing going on but you know a modern civilized society like we we know you know is wrong i mean like a kid is not mentally developed i mean there's so much wrong with that um you know and if, if I could answer and give my my honest opinion, um, I'm not qualified. I'm not a psychologist or anything, but I, I think it's a I think it's a combo. You know, I, I think some of these people do have wires crossed, like something's going on. And I also think there's just flat out bad people, you know what I mean, that prey on kids. I mean, so I think it's a combination of both. But yeah. Um I mean it's most of, most of the guys I've ran into, I'm trying to just remember mo- most of their faces. Um, that I've only had one that that I could sit there and say, you know, this guy really has mental problems and issues. And mm-hmm. if you guys want, you can always go and check out the page. Team Loyalty makes you family. And there's there's a video where I busted two predators the same night. Um, one guy drove all the way down. The guy drove all the way from Texas. Damn. <laughs> He drove from Texas to New York City to meet a child, and then after that, there was a there was a younger, uh, not younger, uh, gentleman. I think he was 37 years old. He was coming out to meet a 13 year old boy. He came all the way from Staten Island. Anybody from from um, Brooklyn, where where I'm at, in the area, you know, it's it's not a hop, skip, and a jump from Staten Island. You're talking ferries, buses, and trains. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but when I when I confronted him, I could tell that there was something mentally wrong with him. He had physical problems, mental problems. Doesn't give him a pass, but I can see, I can see in him that he has, a, he's living a life that he didn't choose. Mm-hmm. You know, whether he was mentally born with this or he was, or he was handed it to him mm-hmm. by being sexually assaulted. Right. So it, it is, it is, it's stuff like that. that. That one really bothered me. Actually, it really did kind of bother me, mm-hmm. um, because if you hear the video, the guy, the guy says he goes. You know, I've talked to my psychiatrist about this, and they won't help me. Damn. Yeah. So it goes deeper than than what we think. Mm-hmm. That's that's sad. That's a that's a that's like kind of a gray area. I can understand how you would like. I don't know if sympathize is the right word, but definitely feel a certain type of way about that one. Yeah. So it's it's not a sympathy. It's it's more of a it's more of a damn man like. Like a pity almost, right? Like Yeah, like here's a guy screaming out for help. He can't get the help he needs. 
So now, since he didn't get his help, now he's standing in front of me. Right, right. You know? Yeah. That's a tough one, man. Um, Tony, so I got one last question, man. I know you're a really busy man. Um, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a regular, I'm just a regular plumber from Brooklyn, man. I'm not a superstar. Trust me. I'm just a regular guy. You know what, man? I gotta, I gotta respectfully disagree and say that you're a person that is actually going out there making a difference in the world because a lot of people think about things. They say they want to do things, but you're just taking it upon yourself to go do something. And that's like, you know, that's something to be respected and praised. So I just got to say that. Um, but going into my last question, Tony, um, how long do you plan to keep this going? I plan to keep going until these sickles are still here. Mm. You know, I, 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 as long as, as long as they keep responding back to ads, um, as long as there's still children in the world, as long as my daughter is still the age that she is and there's defenseless, kids i'm gonna keep doing it well damn man i mean it's it's good we got people like you in the world out there doing this kind of work um so but yeah tony um thank you so much for the time um i'm gonna put the links to the page it's a it's team loyalty makes you family right yeah team loyalty makes you family yep okay any other things you want to like plug or is that the the main page yeah i want to uh i want to give a shout out to my my partner chad He's down there. Um, I have another partner down in Knoxville, Tennessee. And he does he does the same thing. His page is called uh, Dirty South Justice. Me and him, we both started this together. So he's down south, and I'm up north. And um, and that's it. I want you know give a shout out to my wife and my, and my daughter and, and and everybody in New York City, and everybody in the world, or whoever's listening, man. I appreciate you guys' support. I thank you for taking your time, reaching out to me, man, and and talking to me and and letting and and bringing the awareness because that's that's what it's about, man. It's letting the word out. The more people that see and hear it, the more people that that'll that'll think the next time and and, and help protect their own kids. And I'm just I'm just trying to I'm trying to change the world and the laws one day at a time, man. And it's, mm-hmm. Yeah, Tony, um, you said it, exposure is a big thing and, uh, you know, grateful for you, man, as many people are. So uh, just be safe out there. Keep up the great work. And uh, and that's it. So, uh, again, appreciate the time. So that's going to wrap up the episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Please check out Tony's pages. They're going to be in the description. Thanks for listening.